Hi, our topic for today is red black tree insertion, that is inserting a new node into a red black tree. If you don't know what a red black tree is, go read about them first since you'll have to have a good intuition and understanding of what they are, how they work and what kind of rules they have. In addition, you'll have to understand what a tree rotation is and how they work since we'll be using tree rotations in two cases that we're displaying. I'll have some suggestions of links to read more about red black trees and tree rotations in the description bar. So we'll be using this web tool that my friend Tommy built uh, to go through the five cases that, that we have. And uh, in this tool we have always a case specific red black tree and we can insert nodes into this tree by clicking this button and entering a value and we can see that it pops up uh, into the end of the tree and uh, then we have a tester here on the left side which will show if our tree is valid and for example, if I color our root node red, our tester will show us that our tree firstly is invalid and also why. So we can see that the root is not black and that's a problem. So let's go into the cases. The first case is rather simple. We have an empty red black tree and if we insert a node, we can see that this is an invalid red black tree since always when inserting a node, the node will be red. So we'll simply just paint it black and we'll have a valid red black tree. In the second case, we already have a black root node. So let's just insert a new node and as we can see, this is a valid red black tree, so nothing to do here. Let's go into case three. Let's insert the same node. And now we can see that we have a conflict here. Firstly, red nodes cannot have red children. So that's a conflict that we have here. And luckily, this inserted node uh, has a red uncle. So it has a red parent and a red uncle. So this will be an easy case to solve. And we will solve this conflict by recoloring. Firstly, we will look into the inserted node's grandparent. We will first color it red and then we will color the parent and its uncle or the uncle black. This way we can recursively and in a bottom-up manner transfer the conflicts up the tree. And as you can see this conflict is quite simple to take care of since we only have to just make the root node black. Simple as that. Then let's go into case 4. And case 4 and case 5 will have actually the, the same red black trees but we will just insert different kinds of nodes and in case 4 we will insert a node of 49 and it will pop in here and we can see that it again it has a red parent so we have a conflict here but the uncle this time is black and that creates a different kind of problem that we can only solve by rotating this subtree. So we'll look into the grandparent and just rotate it away from the conflict. So in this case to the left and this will balance our red black tree and now we can see that again we have a conflict here 
but we can solve it by coloring the inserted node's parent and now the, the uncle has become the cousin so we'll just have to color it red to take care of, of one of the rules of having the same amount of black nodes in every, every root to leaf path. In case 5 we have the same tree but this time we'll insert a node that goes into the different or other direction. So last time we had a right child and this time we have a left child. Similarly we have a black uncle but in, in, in this case also the uncle has the same direction as the inserted node. So the uncle is a left node and the inserted node is a left node. So in this case we have to do a double rotation. That is we'll have to do two rotations. So simply in a double rotation we will first rotate the parent simple as this and as you might notice we have exactly the same situation that we had in case 4 so we'll look into the grandparent and make the second rotation this will balance the tree again and we can solve the conflicts by just recoloring the nodes.